Hey guys, Charlie here. Welcome back to Surviving Mars. And today is the day, guys. Today is the day we're gonna get some people here. Are you excited? Are you as excited as I am about it? Oh, our first official dome. Of course, I, I've had people in a dome before playing around with the game, but uh, this is this is different, right? Because this time, this time it's gonna be you guys. Oh, what's this? Exclamation point. Whoa. Oh, that's what that is. Oh, that was like a contact spot. And look, there it is right here. See? So it has scattered metals harvested by drone or RC transport. So this meteor comes in and there's like a little mini crater here from it. I feel like it would be a much bigger crater than that. Uh, but the point is, it's we're getting metals from space too. So that's good too. All right, I think it's time. I think it's time to start getting this constructed. So let's get the sky. Uh, the problem is, is that these resources are just out of range. And so by design, they're not gonna be able to build this because there's nobody in command range. If I go like this and get this, uh, this guy right here to get a little bit closer, that's gonna put the dome in command range. If there's any concrete in the area, these guys are going to go get it. Now, there is a bunch of metal, so they're going to use that. I'm wondering if there's concrete anywhere nearby, though. Sector scanned. Doesn't look like it. We got a bunch of metal in this sector over here, too. Okay. So we got we got a lot of resources in this. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. The only thing we don't have is water. Which is a big deal, don't be wrong. It's a big deal. Not having water, uh, we need to work on that. All right, so in order to get some people to show up here, we need to get oxygen. And the oxygen is gonna be in life support, and it's gonna be this moxie. It doesn't get any production during dust storms, but this is gonna, what's gonna provide our guys with the oxygen. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect this right about here. And then we're gonna take the oxygen tank, and I'm gonna put it over here, actually. Like right up next to where this dome is gonna be. I think maybe like right Right here ought to do it. Yeah, right there. Eventually, we're gonna get, we're gonna get some piping running through here. And this is gonna need repaired too. We got tons of metals though, and all this stuff gets repaired. Well, this gets repaired by metals. This gets repaired by metals. All of these things get repaired by metals when they when they're down. Uh, this here is gonna get repaired by metals, so that's gonna work really well. Let's make sure we get it hooked up to power cables. Uh, oh, don't tell me we can't. Oh, no, I can't. It won't let me. Wait, I can do this. Does this is Sector it, scan. Is it going to delete this? Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, I didn't know I didn't know what that was going to do. I'm actually really happy to see that that's smart enough to do that. So it connects this to here and then it connects this to that. That's better. Much better. Thank you. All right, then Research we need complete. We need pipes. So let's get the pipe from here all the way to here. Perfect. And then once this is connected, this oxygen, this this was this is creating oxygen or producing oxygen. It doesn't work in dust storms. So if there's ever a dust storm, it's not it's going to stop working. But that's what we have the tank for. It's to sort of store it. So in the case of a dust storm, we still have breathable air for everybody. All right, it's time. We need to get we need to get this dome running now. So, uh, where's my transport guy? Here it is. All right, off we go. Carry supplies or passengers from Earth. Phoenix? Oh, it's fueled up and ready to rock. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fueled up and ready to go. Uh, ready for takeoff. Go. So the drones will get clear. Milestone achieved. Woohoo! And here it is right here. It's going up. Bye-bye, rocket. <laughs> ah, I love it. I love it. This game, I, I'm already, I'm, I'm super excited about this. I'm like, I'm really, really happy with what's happened just now. Uh, and by by just now, I mean uh, with getting access to this game. <laughs> really, really happy about it. All right, I need you to go and bring, well, first off, let's drop off the resources you have. So let's just uh, drop them right here. It's fine. And then I'm going to have this guy go and get some concrete. So what I want you to do is I want you Anomaly to grab found. the concrete. 
Scepter's and I want you down. to bring it over to here and drop it right there. That's what I want you to do. Uh, found water. Oh, we, fought, we got water. We got water. We got water. Oh, it took us 11 days, but we got it. Uh, these are milestones, by the way. You just saw those. If I go to... Uh, not colony overview. Milestones. Here it is. Uh, so we scanned an anomaly. That's good. Launched a rocket from Mars. Awesome. That was the one we just got. And then uh, water on Mars as well. So where's the water? Where's the water? <gasps> Look at all the water over here. Wow. And, and it's got the rare metals here too. Oh, this is perfect. What does the dome look like here? Oh, can we get all of it? Okay, we're not going to be able to get all of... Ooh, yeah, we are right there. I think we can get it all right there. We don't want to put this on top of the deposit, but that... That's a legit water functioning base. We could, we could really specialize in water production there and have all that water piped all the way over back here. It'd be expensive for the piping, but that's a lot of water, man. We'll have to figure that out. We'll have to figure that out. All right, with all the concrete being here, these guys should build this. Uh, we need 10 polymers. Uh, all right, so hold on. Where's the polymers? Right here. Can you grab these? I don't know how many we have. Uh, we don't have enough. Oh, we have enough. We have enough. Go. Whew. We barely have enough. In fact, we have so little that I think it's time to send a rocket. So we're going to need a cargo rocket, and we're going to need to send some polymers. Uh, we're going to send 40. Let's pop a couple of these in here, too. Oh, man, we're all down to 59. <laughs> oh, God, it's so painful. Ah. Uh. I think we're going to need another moisture vaporizer, vaporator too, because we're going to need the water from the people living there. So I'm going to have to buy this. Because I can't expand over that way. I'm going to have to buy this. That sucks. Maybe a polymer factory. It's 300 million. Electronics, fa like these factories are great, but. Uh, another generator. No, I'm going to need the moisture. That sucks, but I'm going to need it. Ugh. It makes me sick. It's a sickening, I say. Let's let's go light on the polymers a little bit. We'll keep just over half a billion. Oh, oh so expensive. All right. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do it. All right. This should have enough materials now. Yep. It's in the back of the truck, guys. Come on. There you go. Unload it. Unload it. I don't want to drop it because I want the remaining polymers that are left over to, to go back to the storage. Where they go. I think that is all that's required. Yep, it's got all the resources except for concrete now. So move on back. And I want you to drop off that uh, payload over here. Drop it back over there. And then I need you to take the concrete. Yep. That's fine. We'll just take it all and put it back over here. So there's lots of metals here. Uh -huh. Not a lot of concrete. There we go. All right, so that sector should get them started scanned. enough select to get this done. To scan. That should let them get this done. Let's go ahead and slow down time really quick here. We're going to need to scan some more. Uh, let's get these areas. Let's see what else we're dealing with over here. And then this one right there. Oh, man. Uh, I'm so excited about that water. That's a lot of water. 8,000. That seems like a lot, but apparently, apparently it's low, actually. Very low. Wow. I can't imagine what high is. That sounds really good. Here's some metals, and we got some rare metals in here. Average, actually, great on that one. What's the, what are these ones? Average, low, and average, okay. There's still two of them, so that equals a hive to me. <laughs> uh, what other resources can we gather? Let's get those. Uh, this is still good where it is, because the drones can reach, and I think they're gonna, yep, they're starting to construct it. Here it is. All right, so now that they're starting to construct this dome, Here's what we're going to do. We're going to send a passenger rocket. So, now, this is how the passenger rocket stuff works. Okay. So, we currently have 75 colonists that match. What that means is we've set a certain amount of criteria for what we're going to accept for a Mars mission. Uh, there are 114 people who are applicable. Uh, in other words, 114 applicants. However, based on our chosen criteria, only 75 of them currently match. We're able to take 12 at most. 
Currently, we have no resource or residences available, but since they're building the dome now, it should be fine. So, take a look at age groups. We are denying children. We are denying senior citizens. Uh, now, children will eventually grow up and be able to work, but there's none available. And senior citizens can no longer work, so they're not allowed. I'm also going to disallow middle-aged. They're getting close to retirement. I want people who are healthy, who are able to work for a longer period of time. So, I'm going to take away middle-aged as well. That leaves youth and adult. We want those. We don't have to select these, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. I don't know exactly what the downsides of this are. To, from what I can tell, people are eligible by default, but... Um, I'm, I'm going to mark them that way anyway. Okay, specialization. So, these are the different specializations that people can have. And they will work better uh, if they are specialized and working in their chosen field. Since we are very limited on the colonists that we can take right now, I need to be... I need to maybe get and isolate this down to only people who are specialists. So, for that reason, I'm actually going to just disallow the no specialization. So if you don't have a specialization, you're not coming as a founder. That's what we're going to do for now. All right. So sex, don't care. Male, female, other doesn't bother me one bit. Perks. All right. So these are positive things, right? And uh, people can be workaholics. Survivor. I really like this perk uh, because they can, they can, they lose less health when they have no food, water, oxygen, and when they're living in an unpowered dome. If something happens, these guys are most likely to survive, so I want these. Sexy is great as well. It increases our birth rate, because, you know, they're sexy. So we're going to click that one. Uh, composed, these guys they lose less sanity when bad things happen. I like these guys too. Uh, there's If I allowed everybody, there probably wouldn't be any genius, celebrity, or saint anyway. Um, in fact, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and allow all of these. We probably should do that because I want to look at the individual people. So we'll do that. Um, as far as flaws go, I don't want to disallow all of them. But, um, like, we want to be picky which ones we allow. So, like, Glutton, for example, they eat double the food rations. I'm not interested in dealing with that. So, uh, no. So 30 people left. Uh, we probably don't want anyone who's lazy, and we don't really need anyone who is uh, going to cause uh, increased performance when at low morale. That's weird. Nope. Uh, loners don't want those guys either. Uh, hypochondriacs. Like, they're going to randomly visit medical buildings to take sanity damage if unable to do so, which is, like, kind of weird. Like... It's not really that bad of a perk, I don't, or of a, of a flaw, I don't think. As long as they can visit medical buildings, they're not going to lose their sanity. But, mm, I don't know. We, if we can afford not to take anybody like that, then we will. So, actually, let's, let's go ahead and do it. We'll just disallow all. Which leaves us with 13 colonists left. Here's quirks. Uh, there's only one vegan. Uh, don't worry, they'll tell you. <laughs> We'll allow the vegan, uh, but so that's gonna leave that's gonna leave us with a now. I don't like the way they've interfaced this. I wish there would be a clearly defined button, but the applicants that you're gonna take are in this review section here. So you hit review, and it gives you a list of everyone who matches your criteria. So this is it amongst all the people in the whole world who were interested in this mission. 114. Amongst all those people, we've set our criteria, we've set what our limitations are, and these are the people who match so far. So these are the people we can choose from. We have 12 spots, and there's 13 people, which means we can take everybody except one. So really, it's about who don't we want to take. Well, let's take a look. We have uh, Isadora Anderson. She's a botanist. Composed, survivor, sexy. All good things. Jesse Clark. All of these guys should have great traits because all of these guys have no flaws. We've disallowed all flaws. So the founders should have great traits. So anyone who's a survivor, I'm definitely taking you guys. Uh, but we're going to need botanists for the farm because we want to be able to make food. Geologists are especially important for us because of our rare metals. And they're going to be working on that stuff. However, I'm only seeing two geologists. I kind of need three. So somebody's going to have to work somewhere else, I guess. Let's see who we don't want to take. Who do we not want to take? Uh, there's a lot of scientists here. They have a medic. That's good. Like, which classes? 
botanist. I don't know if we need three botanists. Four botanists. Okay, we can we can get rid of one of the botanists. This guy's religious and vegan. Maybe the vegan's not coming. <laughs> uh, Hope Cassidy. Uh, yeah, I think the botanist. I think the vegan's not coming. Higher individual base morale, low sanity, never leads to suicide. He's got he's got the religious perk, which is actually not a bad deal here. Um, I think we're gonna go with getting rid of. Yeah, I think we're gonna get rid of him. Armani Jackson, sorry. Uh, amongst everyone, amongst all the botanists, you're the only one. So we're left with 12 out of 12, and uh, that's it. Now we would have more. We would have more that we could take if I allowed like no specialization and further rockets that are taking people like further passenger rockets will have a no specialization allowed. But other than that, um, we're going to go ahead and launch this. Yeah, go ahead. There's zero space available. But that's fine. We're going to go ahead and do it anyway. All right, cool. Uh, I just realized also that the FPS counter is still on. I left it on for you guys in the first episode so you guys could see how the game performs. But as you can see, even with full maxed out settings, 1440p resolution, I'm pretty much locked at 60 frames per second. Granted, my, my system is a beast, but it shows you that the game is a, capable of running well on a 1080p system. It, I'm sure it would do fine. Uh, that being said, though, I don't really, want, don't really want it on anymore. So let me go ahead and turn it off now. Okay, it's off. So we currently have a power surplus and an oxygen surplus. But that's going to change as soon as these guys show up. We don't have the water surplus, which is what the other rocket who's co which coming here. That's what that other rocket is bringing us. Another moisture vaporizer or vaporator. And then here's our passengers. They're 7% here now. This dome's getting Milestone built. Achieved. There we, we have go. An oxygen shortage. We have a water shortage. <laughs> we have a power shortage. Okay, so the one thing I, the one pet peeve I have about the game is that it always reads this. Every time you build a new dome, you hear that every single time. Even if you're not short, uh, it, it, it ends up being short every single time. Uh, looks to me like we don't have any power to the dome as well, so we're going to have to run power cables to the dome. So let's just do it off this right here. Blocking objects. Can I do this anyway? No, it doesn't let me. Okay, we'll go this way, and then we'll go out this way like that. Okay. So that will provide power to the dome. Perfect. So, inside the dome, these this is where people will live. They're going to live in here. And uh, we need to build residences. We need to build a place for them to live when they arrive. So, let's take a look at homes, education, and research within the dome icons here. We see living quarters. This is our first living quarters. It has residential space for 14 people. We're bringing 12, so that will work for perfectly. Let's set that here. Then... I want to get a couple of other things set up. I want to get a grocer. This is going to allow them to shop for food. It has to be worked by people, but that's okay. Put the grocer there. Uh, then, I think I want to set up a farm here, but we don't have farms researched yet. How close are we to doing that? Uh, it's next in line. Uh, actually, it's currently being researched. Yeah, so it's it's half done. So I, I think um, I think that'll be fine. We'll have the we'll have the farm in time. I think. Okay, so the farm will go here. Uh, before we get the farm done, we probably want uh, we could give them a place to do exercise and social. I also want an infirmary. This is a place where they'll recover health and sanity as long as they're not starving, dehydrated, freezing, or suffocating. A dome with a medical building has lower minimum comfort requirements for births, which means if we put a firm, an infirmary in here, we're more likely to get birth. We're more likely to get people having babies, and uh, that's great. Natural growth of our colony without having to ship them from Earth. So I'm going to stick... I kind of want to... Yeah, here we go. I'm going to stick the infirmary over here on the edge, uh, over by the living quarters here. And then uh, how about we grab... A diner. See, they already have a place to eat, though. They, this is this provides dining, social, and food. To where this here. I don't remember what this. What does this? What does this actually do? No, stop. Uh, this provides dining, social, and food. Requires one concrete to maintain. Grocer uh, gives food and shopping. So I think the social is probably better. 
It works. It gets worked by six people, two per shift. Hmm. See, there's way less work requirements here. I think the grocer is going to be good for now. We'll, we'll do the grocer instead. Okay. Now the big problem we have right now is that there's actually no food here, and I missed that. There's not actually any food here right now. Uh, so we're going to need to create food. And uh, I don't have any way to do that because I'm an idiot. So uh, let's go ahead and get a rocket. We're going to go with cargo rockets. And we're going to send some food up. I think 40 is good enough for now. We'll be able to do hydroponics. We'll be able to do farms and stuff, I think, eventually. Let's start with 50. It's $200 million worth of food. And I think that's probably all I'm going to send here. Uh... uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm gonna resist the urge to send anything else, and just gonna send food on this one. Let's bump it up to 60. All right, so that rocket's uh, pretty far behind our passenger rocket, but these guys—it's assumed that these guys have ate something on the rocket. I would hope. Also, we can actually leave them for a couple of souls. We can let them hover or uh, let them uh, orbit Mars for a couple of souls before we bring them down. So it's not critical that we have everything set up by that time. Okay, so these buildings require, uh, what, to get built? This requires concrete, concrete, concrete. Well, we can provide that. We can provide that easily, can't we? Uh, where is our, where's our guy at? Where's our, where's our transport? Oh, you're way over there. Come on over here. Come on over here. Uh, drop off your resources, like right here. Just all of them is fine. And done. Okay, grab as much concrete as you can. See, these guys have arrived, but... Oh, the moisture vaporizer vaporator has arrived. Okay. That's better. Yeah, yeah, okay. These guys are 64%. Alright, so this vehicle... I want you to go this way. Drop off your payload. Uh, right over here by the door. In the meantime, we're going to have this moisture vaporator come in. I'm going to have it land... Uh, maybe over here. We can get command range on this area. That's not a bad deal. Have it land over here. Yeah. Come on over here. We can get some command range on this stuff. Maybe this. It might be too far away. Maybe. We'll see. How are you doing? Waiting to refuel. Who are we able to take fuel? Oh, see, here's a whole bunch of fuel, but they're not able to get it there. Oh, that's a problem. Well, we do have another drone hub. So let's actually get another drone hub set up right over here. This should give us full coverage of everything. So like right about like this. It's kind of a wasted spot right there, right? What about over here? If I put a drone hub over here, just enough to where it has fuel in range, it should be good. So right here, fuel is just in range. So I want to get the whole thing, though. Let's get all the resources in range here. Right about, like, eh. Damn. You know what? We have a power shortage. Here, we're not going to do that. Let's just take this. Come on over here. And uh, let's pick up the fuel. It says we have a power shortage. Uh, drones without power. Oh, did you run out of battery? Which one is it? Which one is it that ran out of power? Is it you? No. I don't know who ran out of power. Uh, get the fuel, please. And we're going to take all this fuel, and we're going to just take it that way. So we don't have to put them in command range. We have this. We'll just get this in command range and be done. So that's all the fuel. Yep. That's all we can afford right now. Oh, that's all we have available. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll drop off the payload, like right here. Should be close enough for those drones to get it. All right. Now, this says the dome doesn't have uh, water or oxygen, and that's because it's not actually hooked up. So this pipe is hooked up to this reserve. It's not hooked up to the dome. So we need to hook it up to the dome as well. So pipes here to here. 
Uh, it says this is running out of power. Is that because we have a power deficit? Yes, we have a huge power shortage right now. So we're going to have to turn these on. So let's turn this up. Turn this up. We've been short on power for a while. Um, but like our battery was covering us. Now it's depleted. So by opening these two things up, we now have a surplus. We can power everything on the base. But that's not going to last very long. So we're going to need to get some other power sources. We're going to need to get some windmills, I think. Uh, I don't want to go this way because it'll obstruct this resource. So we're going to have to go this way with it. I have a lot of metals. We could start We could start with this, actually. If we start with solar panels, let's say put a panel like here and then put another panel. We'll do two panels here like this. Um, this will help us recharge the battery during the day. Which is okay for now, I think. I'm hoping. As soon as people get here, which is happening very, very, very soon. Uh, I need to go one more. There we go. Like that. Okay. Is there something in command range there? Passenger rockets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Okay, so the passengers are here. They're just going to uh, orbit around Mars right now. If we don't land the rocket in 115 hours, they'll die. So we just have to land the rocket in 115 hours. We have living quarters set up. That's good. Uh, we also have... Uh, we don't have enough concrete for that. We need to get concrete over here again. All right, you've dropped off the fuel already. So come on back. Uh, you're getting refueled. This is not in range. We, we really do need... Because this doesn't have the... Uh, can I pick up stuff inside this? Yes, all. Take all the stuff out of this rocket. And just we're just going to move it this way manually for now. All right, we need to get the concrete over there too. We'll do that as soon as he's taking stuff. He's loading up all the resources vehicle battery low and good we've loaded up everything perfect so let's bring this over here all right this is the this is the payload that has the food we're gonna drop this right over here just right here is fine they're gonna load the food the food in here and then we'll be set with the food and then the passengers can come in as long as we have food and a grocer they'll at least be able to live for a little while okay uh we still have 107 hours we got plenty of time we got plenty of time we have all the resources out of this rocket now, so provided that we get it fueled up uh, in time, we should be set. Uh, let's just drop this off right here. Uh, everything, please? Yeah. Sector scanned. The drones will disperse it to the proper place, but I just need to drop it off for now. Okay, let's get concrete. We gotta bring concrete over there. There we go. Okay. And we're going to take the concrete uh, over to here. This way they'll be able to do their job with it. The drones will be able to do their job with it. Let's move this drone just a little bit this direction. Um, This had a vaporator on it, right? I, I believe this had a vaporator on it. So we can hook up another vaporator here too. Uh, Here. Uh, let's put it like... Let's put it out like this. Like right next to it is probably good. Yeah. Uh, it's not going to be hooked up to power because this demands that it be right on it. So we're going to have to take this like that. But um, we're also going to need to take the pipes. Pipes need to go from here to here. That should be good because this will transport it through this. I think that will work okay. Because it's got like a pipe like bypass kind of thing right through here. Now, this is all, of course, generating dust. So, we want to keep it away from other things, which is why we're putting it over here. Um, our domes and stuff will end up being over this way, and all the stuff that's that's doing dust will be over here. Uh, how is this deposit looking? We have a lot of waste. A lot of waste. Uh, still very high. How's our waste rock? Are these full? Uh, no. No, they're not. So, why isn't the waste rock getting brought there? I think it is. I think we do need another drone hub over here. It's kind of a pain to have to bring things like that. 
I mean, this has command range, so technically they, they should be bringing things, but maybe they've just been busy. I don't know. All right, here they go. They're bringing this in. Uh, now that you've dropped off your payload, let's get you back. And I want you to grab the food out of this rocket. Research complete. You can, you can grab it all a lot faster than all these drones can. Although they've been grabbing a lot, but we're going to empty this out for food. And we're going to sort of give like a... I don't want to say a preliminary, but we're going to give like a, a sample of it and bring it over closer to the dome. So bring it over here. And we're going to drop another uh, food storage, food depot. I'm going to drop another one of those like right, like right here. Let's say. It's probably fine. Yeah, and then we'll go ahead and drop off your payload here. So for now, lots of food. Cable fault reported. Yeah, we'll get that. Okay, hold on. Let's pause really quick or slow this down. We have 90 hours still. Do, is there anything we need to do to prep for them right now? I don't think so. They've got uh, they got this and they got this. Um, do we have farms yet? Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Do we have farms? We do have farms. We should be able to make a farm now then. So let's get a farm. Where is a farm? Where's the farms? Uh, research lab is good. We should get the research lab up and running too. I think the farm is more important though. If I can ever find it. Is it not here? Maybe it's in life support. Ah, here it is. All right, cool. So it goes in here, but right there. Okay. This farm is built with just eight concrete. Please tell me we have eight concrete nearby. Metal, metal, concrete. Good. 18. Good. All right. They're going to build that. I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready to go, guys. Let's grab this. Um, we could land out here. It's just a pain to bring the fuel there, though. But we can do it. Let's land right over here. This gives us command range for some drones on these resources, which is pretty good, I guess. We'll land right here. Far from operational domes. Uh, yeah, okay. Right here is fine. All right, our colonists are coming in. Now, we're also going to want to build one of these things. We're going to want to build metal extractors to extract metals. Uh, we can't do it here, but we can do it right here, right there. We'll build that. And then we also want to build some of these. These are rare metals extractors. And they can, like, extract right on top of these resources. So I'm going to put one there. I'm going to put another one right over here. Those are going to be generating a ton of cash for us. Unfortunately, I can't put a metal extractor here because it's outside the influence of the stone. So I can't quite put that. But we get at least one, and that's good. All of these need to be constructed with what? Metals. Metals. Of hope and determination. The first founders have set foot on the red planet. Yay! So uh, the next 10 souls will be full of difficulties and dangers, but also with great promises and opportunities. It is now up to us to prove that Mars can be a doorway to greater riches and the future of human civilization. Even the most epic adventures begin with a single step. So the arrival of additional colonists are now temporarily suspended until the colony proves able to sustain human life. The founder colonists must survive for 12, sorry, for 10 souls before additional people can arrive. There are 12 founders. Uh, it says, hint, the colony will be evaluated positively before the period ends in the event the first human is born on Mars. If you feel you're up to the challenge, try constructing a medical building and raising the comfort of the founders as much as possible with service buildings. So I do actually think I can do that. So that's why I got this Milestone in here. Milestone achieved. To raise comfort. Uh, and, you know, lower the minimums. But I'm also going to want to raise comfort in other ways. So we can raise comfort by giving them, like, other things like this. Relaxation, relaxing, exercise, etc. So, for example, this uh, garden. 
It's kind of a nice little. We could put a garden next to the. We could put a garden next to the uh, infirmary. New colonists here. have arrived. We want to do something like this, like that. It's kind of nice. And then on this extra spot here, uh, don't waste it. Put like a statue or something right here. It's like a symbol of the first, like the founding people, right? So one concrete builds that, and four concrete builds that. We have some just outside the dome, so we should be fine. But just in case we don't have enough later on, uh, let's go ahead and make sure we have enough concrete in the area. Let's go ahead and grab. Uh, I want you to load up with concrete, and I want you to actually here do this. Load up with concrete. Now, now we're just gonna do the regular load up. Yeah, load up with concrete. Okay, so where's our rocket? The colonists are on the brink of dehydration. We need to figure out something quick before they die. Uh, wait, what? Water is a vital fluid. Yeah, I know that. Why don't we have... Hold on. Why don't we have water? All right, stop. Hold on. Why don't we have water? I've got it all hooked up. I even got this thing working. Uh... Guys? Why don't you have water? We are at a water shortage. Seriously. Is it because we're making fuel? Which is a very valid thing. Can I shut this down? Let's shut this down for now. Now we should have a water surplus for a little while, so we should have the, the water should go into the dome. It says insufficient water, but I don't understand why. Maybe water doesn't travel this through all of these things? I mean, this is a different configuration than I had before, but maybe we'll... Okay, how about we try this? Let's, uh... Let's go like this. And connect this up like this. It's gonna look a little weird, but can we do that? If we do that, what happens? Because this is all hooked up to the piping, so the water should all be getting in there just fine. This is insufficient water. I mean, granted, this is this farm is gonna occupy a lot of water too, but it's not even up yet. We are so bad on water right now. Like, water is a big deal. Need to strongly consider getting some extractors out this way. If I ever find it, here it is, water extractor. So I'm gonna get one here, and I'm gonna get another one right here. And then we're gonna get a, uh, a drone hub and we're going to go right about like this with it. And then that will allow us... Wait. Oh, it's just out of command range. Oh, that doesn't matter. This is for a dome. We can actually get this deposit here, though. Uh, maybe we... Actually, maybe we do it this way. Get all three of them. Like this. Like, like that instead. All right, so now we just need... Uh, the RC car here. I need this to... Man. This stuff is going to be out of drone range. Barely. Like, everything in the dome is out of range for this. So, like, without this car here, the... These guys can't get and do what they need to do inside the dome. But it's pretty vital we get that stuff running. So... I need another drone hub now, don't I? I think I do. I can't get fuel because I'm shutting this down. So yeah, we need to adjust the water. Why is there still a water shortage? That's what I don't understand. It says increasing water in this tank, but like... Alright, this tube, this tube is built now. There it goes. Okay, so something about... The way this was tubed. Oh, these aren't connected. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so these two actually aren't connected. That's what I was, yeah. So this tank actually wasn't connected to this, and this is what was connected to that. 
I see. So I could have solved that problem, actually, by just doing this. Well, if there's ever a leak or something, at least we got some redundancy now. 